Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. So obviously feminism has changed a lot in recent years. I don't know if we are in fourth wave. Are we still in the third wave? We are in some far off wave of feminism at this point. But feminism at the beginning, the way that it was originally created, it was fighting for women to be put on an equal playing field as men, to make sure that we had the same rights, the same protections. And we achieved that. You might not think that based on the way that feminists talk today, but we did achieve that. But these days, it's gotten quite confusing because now women are being told that we and our safety and our comfort actually needs to play second fiddle to a new group of people. And women across the country have had it. Before we dive into this story, though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you've not already, and then ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section upload. So I know this is not news to any of you, but every day we see transgender women taking over women's spaces, beating them in sports, sometimes physically hurting them in the process, winning Women of the Year awards, becoming bleeders and chest feeders thanks to their cocktail of hormones that they take every day, marching into our bathrooms and our locker rooms. And that's what happened last week in Fairbanks, Alaska. A Planet Fitness member was in the women's bathroom when she saw a trans individual shaving over a sink. And this is the video that she posted on Facebook immediately after. Good day. I just wanted to say I just came out of Planet Fitness and um, there is a man shaving in a women's bathroom. I realize he wants to be a woman. He gets to be a woman. I love him in Christ. He's a spiritual being having a human experience. He doesn't like his gender, so he wants to be a woman, but I'm not comfortable with him shaving in my bathroom. All right, I just thought I'd say it out loud. Heck yeah, Patricia, love her. Her name is Patricia. She posted that video, it went viral. She also posted this photo to go along with it. What a lovely lady in the locker room. Love to see it, everybody. Now, she didn't just post it for all of her friends to see. She also talked to Planet Fitness, talked to the administrative team, showed them this picture, told them what was happening in the all ages women's locker room. And you know what they did? They revoked her membership. They revoked her membership and kicked her out because she had taken a photo of somebody in the locker room which violated their policy. And they said that she had no right to complain because they value diversity and they don't discriminate at Planet Fitness. We started to notice a pattern here, like who the protected class is, because that's really what you kind of have to understand. But here's the whole story of how it all happened. This is Patricia talking to Libs of TikTok. And I walked in the restroom. He and I caught eye contact. He was, he had full face of shaving cream. And I, I, I got his attention, took a picture because I felt intimidated. As I walked, at, when I walked out of the bathroom, like a I noticed headlights. a girl sitting, like he was in the mirror to his left, wrapped in a towel. And she was a young girl. I don't know how young she was, but she was young. So I took a picture of him and I thought, well, I'm going to, I'll talk to the authorities and see what my rights are. That He needs to be out of here. So I, I actually told him, I said, you know, you are who you are and you need to not be in a woman's bathroom. The fact that she went up and talked to this individual is fantastic. Like didn't just snap a picture, but went up and said, you know, this is not right. Like that takes guts. Patricia, I love you. You are fantastic. So he, uh, said, you know what, I'm LGB queer, I'm trans, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm transitioning right now. And I said, doesn't matter. You're a man and you should not be in here. So would you please leave? And he tried to argue, so I walked out. So it, then it was Wednesday morning as I got a call from Planet Fitness. It was 8.55 a.m. And they said, Patricia, you know, we have a situation, Miss Silva, you know what I'm talking about. This is Planet Fitness. And and we need to cancel your membership. You you crossed our rules. And I said, I was not the offender. We were offended. Every woman yes, in Patricia. that bathroom, I'm sure, was offended. And she's absolutely right about all of that. And the most important part of the story, in my opinion, is the young girl that was sitting there in a towel in the same room. It is completely and utterly inappropriate. Now, later that week, Libs of TikTok was sent another photo from a different Planet Fitness member from the Fairbanks, Alaska location, and look who was still there in the bathroom. Ugh, complete with tights and a skirt this time. Libs of TikTok said, breaking, I just received this image from Planet Fitness in Alaska. The man who was caught shaving in the women's bathroom is still entering women's private spaces. Planet Fitness stood by him. Their policies allow men to use women's locker rooms, and if you complain, you might have your membership revoked. Like, we live in the upside down. I say this all the time, but that's the only way that you can describe it. It quite literally does not make sense. Somebody tweeted and said, Planet Fitness, judgment-free zone, unless you are a normal woman that does not like hairy dudes invading your private space, in which case you will be mocked and your membership revoked. And sadly, it's not even surprising at this point 
It's just another notch on the belt. It's just another company that has their priorities completely skewed and completely disconnected from most Americans, unlike Rough Greens. Rough Greens would never do this to you. Now, not only does the company of Rough Greens have great values, but they also make a great product. And they know that dog food is dead food and your pet's health is just as important as your health. Rough Greens is a daily supplement that contains all the necessary vitamins, minerals, probiotics, omega oils, digestive enzymes, and antioxidants that your dog needs every single day. Things that they're probably not getting from their conventional kibble. And because Rough Greens is not a whole food. It is just a supplement. You can just sprinkle rough greens on their food every single day and you will be leagues ahead from where you were. It is easy, accessible, a great place to start. Rough greens supports healthy joints, improves bad breath, boosts energy levels, and so much more for your dogs. Obviously, we know that we are what we eat and so clearly that goes for your dogs as well. The team at Rough Greens is so confident that their products will improve your dog's health just like it improved Rocky and Tater's health that they're offering my viewers a free Jumpstart trial bag so that your dogs can try it too. That free Jumpstart trial bag can be your door in just a few business days. So go to roughgreens.com slash Brett or you can call 877 877- Six six my dog. Again, that is roughgreens.com slash Brett or call 877-66 my dog today. They will never turn on you unlike this company. Now, this obviously caused an uproar on social media. Boycott Planet Fitness started trending almost immediately and people were canceling their memberships right and left. Here I am in front of Planet Fitness. Just canceled my gym membership because they don't protect women's spaces and they prioritize men over women. Boss, babe. Absolute boss. Here's another one. This one was wild. So uh, I just left, canceled my membership. I went in. And the lady who helped me out, she was new. She was in training. She got to the point where she asked the reason why I was canceling it. And I informed her about the Alaska situation. And, and she was like, I never heard of that. And I, I can believe it because she's she's new to plant fitness. But what got me was when it got to the point where she had to put in the reason for the cancellation she asked the manager what she should put in there and she told him what i had said he said well we can't put that i'm sorry why not do you not want to have that on your record oh you don't want to think about that that's why people are leaving in droves people so not only is planet fitness siding with the trans non-discrimination thing but now they're covering it up instead of admitting what they did was wrong they hid the reason why i canceled my membership and this man is not wrong they are literally covering it up right before i sat down to film this episode i was scrolling on twitter and i saw that libs of tiktok had a new exclusive about this story they had one of their journalists call planet fitness and ask them about this story. Say, hey, I have a daughter that wants to sign up. She's 13, which by the way, you can get a Planet Fitness membership by yourself at age 13. 13 year old girls can be in this women's locker room with trans individuals. Just putting it out there. Anyway, they had their journalists call and say, hey, I saw the story. I just want to know what your policy is. And you just need to watch this because they are instructing their employees to cover it up. Was that photograph of the person who identified as a woman, but was that a real photo of someone in a no. woman's bathroom? No, no, that was not. That no. was, so that, need, that wasn't even a real photo from inside the of Planet Fitness at all? Nope. Wow. Okay. We were shocked, too. <laughs> and then, yeah, and they had to, like, pull apart the, the picture, and it's not in a Planet Fitness restroom at all. I mean, it's just disgusting. Another person on Twitter said, so I'm a Planet Fitness member. I just called the Plano Texas Club and asked if it was their policy to let naked men in the women's showers. The guy read me a statement about non-discrimination, so I asked again, does that mean naked men will be showering with me? And he said, if I'm ever uncomfortable to tell the front desk and they will assess the situation. Of course I am canceling. WTF is wrong with these a-holes. Well, what's wrong with them is that they simply don't care about women. They would rather bend a knee and parrot DEI talking points to give you their non-discriminatory policy than actually do what is right and protect their female members. And people have had it. Another person tweeted and said, I guess they want to learn their lesson the old fashioned way like a few other companies have done. And they certainly did. Because guys, in five days, their market value plummeted $400 million. Just look at this. This is the Planet Fitness one week market cap. Woo! All the way down. Here's another view of their stock over the past seven days. It's just crazy. Like companies, when are you going to realize that your actions have consequences? Hey, Bob. That the majority of normal Americans who you market to, who buy your products, are not bought into any of this. They don't want any part of it. They want to be left alone. They want to be 
protected. Like, that's the bare minimum. When are you gonna learn? And you know, I wish I could say that this happened at the perfect right time, but honestly, I wish this had happened sooner to Planet Fitness because this is not their first time. Back in 2015, Planet Fitness's transgender-friendly policy threatens women's safety. Midland Lawmaker says there was an entire lawsuit about this back in 2015. In 2023, in Georgia, there was a man arrested after exposing himself to a 15-year-old girl in Planet Fitness's locker room, and he defended himself by saying that he was identifying as a woman. This was another recent one sent to libs of TikTok just this week. She wrote that, I received this letter from a former Planet Fitness customer. She reached out after encountering a man in the women's bathroom. Planet Fitness responded by saying that their policies allow trans people to use whichever bathroom they want. Women beware of Planet Fitness. And guys, this is the policy that we've been hearing about and we've been talking about. Some members may feel uncomfortable with a transgender member using the same locker room facilities, bathroom, showers, or other facilities programs separated by sex. This discomfort is not a reason to deny access to the transgender member. Planet Fitness staff should work with members and employees to address this discomfort and foster a climate of understanding consistent with the judgment-free character of Planet Fitness. So they're not actually going to deal with the discomfort and the inappropriate behavior that obviously has been happening at Planet Fitness. No, they're gonna work with you to make sure that you understand that you need to be judgment-free. If you are a Planet Fitness member, get out. Find another gym. Like, it is truly, truly absurd. We women are not asking for much. We are simply asking for our spaces to be protected. We're simply asking for what we fought for and what we achieved. Stop giving these people your money. Hey guys, Brett here. For more stories and videos just like that, make sure you subscribe to my show. See you next time.